Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we put together this little site here with the uh, free 2020 theme the other day using the free Elementor plugin. We're going to show you how to decorate your menu and make it a little bit more interesting today. We're going to show you how to create this hover effect when you hover over it. It changes color and it's got a nice blue block background there. And when you click on a section, the focus section will also have that effect on it. And that just makes it a little more interesting than the one you actually get as default with it. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today, but don't let that worry you. Any code that I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. So let's get started. Here we are with the default menu, for the 2020 theme. And we're in our theme customizer and we're on the additional CSS tab and to get to the theme customizer just go to your dashboard we'll go down to appearance and there's customize and that'll bring you to this page here and we're using the additional CSS at the bottom to write our code today okay well let's select one of our little menu items here I'm going to right click I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools most browsers have this nowadays but if yours doesn't Google Chrome is a free download and I'm going to hit the inspect bring this up a little bit and there we are we're on the list item for the menu primary menu and we're on the anchor tag or the link there we go primary menu a okay the first thing I want to do is change that color I'm just going to make mine black and we may have to use the important on this to force it because we're overwriting style. So color black hashtag zero 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 is a color for black. And that's not doing anything. So let's hit the important. There we go. That's turned that black. Fantastic. I think I might want to take that down a little bit in size too. So let's say font size. 14 pixels yeah because we're gonna have a little little background and border all around them so we don't want them too big so that works fine right there okay well let's just hover over one of these okay and as you can see where the blue highlight is up there over home the background it's got no padding basically um, it's squashed up against the top and the sides of the writing so I want to give it a bit of padding so we can show off our background color there so let's do that next I'm going to give it some padding again we may have to overwrite the styles a bit here I'm simply left clicking over here I'm going to say padding top and bottom let's say we'll give that one 10 picks obviously you do yours however you want left and right next entry we'll give that 15 pixels there we go that spread those out so it's obviously happened there great now, of course, when I refresh this browser, these will go back to how they were because this is non-destructive right here, editing right here. So as soon as we refresh, they're going to return to the red. To make it permanent, we need to write this into our CSS, additional CSS up here. So I'm going to copy from the dot, it's class name of primary menu there, down to the bottom of the last entry that I made control C to copy and I'm going to paste it in here and we're going to need to put a closing curly bracket on there because we've got an opening curly bracket you always need to have a closing curly bracket there we go and I'll just skip it down a line now once I publish this these changes will become permanent up here so let's just publish that and let's give this a title when you write a lot of CSS it's a good idea to give things titles and it makes it a lot easier to find and if somebody else is coming and working on the site after you it's a courtesy for them as well so it's forward slash star star forward slash anything you write between the stars there won't be written won't be read as code so we'll say whatever you want to call yours okay so we've got basically got 
what we want happening with this. Now I want to hover over it, our background that we created, the padding there, I want to make it colored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this primary menu A, Control C to copy, drop down a couple, Control V to paste, Right after the A, the anchor tag there, I'm going to put a colon, no space, A, no space, colon, and then colon, no space, and the word hover. And we can set a hover state. So we'll open and close some curly brackets. And within them, we can write our code. So what do we want? Well, I want it to have a background color when we hover over it. I want to get rid of that underline there. And I want to change the color of the font so it works better, perhaps. So we've got a color here. Let's just grab this one and we'll put it in here. I'm going to change it. I'm going to grab the color from my logo there. I've got a free Chrome color picker here. that will get me that hex code and I'll copy that and I'll put that right there. And I want to make that background not the color of the actual font itself. So as you can see, it's put that dark blue color in there for our background. And I actually want to change the font color itself to white or a light color that we're going to see against that background. So again, I'll just copy this. I'm going to change that to white, which is FFF. Obviously, you use whatever color works for you. There we go. We can see that a lot better now. And I probably don't need that important on the end of there. I'm going to take that off just to see if it works, because I don't like to use the important unless we have to, because it's forcing the issue. Yeah, that still works fine. Great. All right, let's get rid of that underline that we've got going on there. And to do that, we'll say text decoration, colon, none, comma. That's better, it's gone, fantastic. And that's a real square right there, these corners. Let's round off those corners slightly by giving it a border radius. Let's say border radius five pixels. There we go. And that's given us slightly rounded corners there. Obviously, if you want to make them pill shaped or something crazy, give it 50 pixels. That'll turn it into a sort of pill shaped. There we go, like that. But I just want mine a little bit, so I'm going to give it five pixels. Okay, great. Well, that's shaping up there. Now, the time it takes to actually go from that one to this one is pretty quick. It's not too bad. I want to slow it down a little bit. Just to me, when you slow those down, it just looks a little more graceful. And to do that, we want to go back up into our primary menu here. And let's do transition, transition duration. And I'm going to make mine 0.7 of a second, or 0.7 seconds, just to slow it down a little bit. There we go. And as you can see, that's a lot more gradual there. Great. Now, the only other thing we really want to do to this is when we go down to a section, I want it to highlight the section that we're on and also the highlighted section doesn't want to have that underline too. So this is really easy. What I'm going to do, okay, so let's grab our whole hover section right here. We'll copy it, control C, drop down a couple, paste it in there. I'm simply going to replace the word hover there with the word focus. Okay, well, let's go down to a different section now. And as you can see, it's got that same effect. 
If we go down to a different section, it'll keep it there for us. Fantastic. So that's pretty much all I wanted to do. So let's publish. Get rid of the inspector. And we're good to go. Let's have a look at our new site in an incognito tab. Make sure everything's going to work. There we go. Now there's one other thing I might want to do here. Our menu's taking up quite a lot of real estate here. You might want to pop these a little closer together. And if you do want to do that, that's real easy too. So let's do that. And I think we're done. So we'll go back here again. It's not the actual link. We're actually looking for the list item this time. So I'm going to inspect this. And go onto one of these list items here. And as I hover over it, you can see that yellow bit on the top and the sides. That's a bit of margin right there. So we can decrease that to get these closer together. So let's copy this class name. Primary menu list item. In fact, we'll copy all of this from the dot to the closing curly bracket there, control C. And we'll actually put this at the top. It doesn't really matter where you put it. But because it's apparent, I think I'll put it on top here. There we go. And I'm going to change that margin. I'm going to say margin dash left because that margin was on the left hand side. I'm going to reduce it to say, let's reduce it to say 10 pixels. And as you can see, that squashed those closer together there. So they're not taking up so much real estate. Obviously, you can do it bigger or smaller. You can take it down to five picks if you want. Whatever works for you. I'm quite happy with the 10 picks. Like I say, I'll put all this code down below the video. You're welcome to copy it and just change the colors out and padding however you want to. Save yourself a bit of time. So there we go, guys. Let's publish that. And I believe we are good to go. So that's how to add a background hover effect to your WordPress free 2020 theme. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.